Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. It's a big one this week. I've got 19 campaigns to share with you, so let's dig right in. 13th century 10mm mercenary miniatures. Highly detailed minis for your baronial war games cast in pewter. By Apocalypse Miniatures of the United Kingdom, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. After their previous, highly successful 10mm Baronial Wars Kickstarter, they have continued the line with Welsh, Irish, and Scottish mercenaries, mounted and foot troops. There is a range of options with spears, javelins, heavy axes, and amongst others, units called Irish Gallo Glass, who were apparently a class of elite Norse Gaelic mercenaries from the 13th to the 16th century. I learned something today. The packs come with 30 foot soldiers apiece, or 15 cavalry. And you can get 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, or 64 packs. This campaign runs until February 28th, with rewards expected in July. Grid Wars Age of Cyberpunk, a complete skirmish game with 77 plus models, a web app, and more. By Titanforge Miniatures offshoot Cyberforge, Titanforge's eighth Kickstarter campaign. The core set includes four different factions, Sarara Corp, a cyber cult, the Titan City Police, and the Yakuza, along with combat support droids, modular terrain, and accessories. There are quite a few more models in the stretch goals, and the add-ons include a game mat, a dice set, and many of the models from their popular Patreon campaign. They regularly rank at number 6 on my Patreon preview videos, link in the description. You can pick up the core set with all the stretch goals, that plus all the digital add-ons, and there is one tier where you get everything previously mentioned, as well as physical copies of all the minis and add-ons. The campaign ends on February 16th, with digital rewards expected by April, and physical by August. Sky Islands 3D printable, steampunk terrain, vehicles, and miniatures by Aether Studios of the United States their second Kickstarter campaign, though they have an active Patreon campaign as well. This project has been in the works for some time, and they describe it as the crown jewel of their library, and it's pretty monumental. The metropolis of Aethertown exists on cliffs in the clouds. As well as some stylish sky riders, these buildings would fit any steampunk city, land-based or otherwise. But the set comes with cloud tops and sky cliff tiles, so you might as well adventure in the sky. You can get the minis, the vehicles, or the terrain all separately, or you can get it all with stretch goals. Plus, a couple tiers include previous Kickstarter campaigns. This campaign is over on March 16th, with rewards expected between May and August. Pre-Hispanic Gods, Mesoamerican Gods and Creatures for Your Tabletop by Infinite Bestiary of Mexico, their 10th Kickstarter campaign. This set brings you 11 miniatures based on the mythology of pre-Hispanic cultures. There's an interesting Aztec misunderstanding of a horse, and a, uh, well, there's a Quetzalcoatl there, that's for sure. And while the rest are quite interesting, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce them all. For tiers, you can pick up all the minis plus stretch goals, and you can also get a merchant's license. This campaign ends on March 3rd, with rewards expected the same month. Apocalypse Wasteland, minis, vehicles, and terrain for your sci-fi futurescape war games. By Power Sword Miniatures of the United States, their third Kickstarter campaign. 
In a disaster-wracked world run by super scientists and sorcerers, the spreading wastelands breed all sorts of minis for you to print and paint. There's mutants, marauders, and mean-looking guys, as well as ape men, and the one and only Dr. Rangatang. There's also a bunch of armored vehicles and wasteland settlements for you to populate your table with. You can get the core set, core set plus stretch goals, and there's a merchant's license available as well as add-ons from previous campaigns. This campaign is over on March 4th, with rewards expected the same month. Architect, Plants and Trees 3D printable, modular foliage for your fantasy or sci-fi tabletop games by Arctanus Games of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes everything you need to build a good range of trees and plants, alien or domestic. Designed to work with 3D printed pegs or magnets, there are 17 bases, 25 trunk pieces, 21 caps, and 14 leaf variants, as well as flowers and fungi. You can get all these plants and trees, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign runs to March 4th, with rewards expected in April. Orc Horde Set 2 Soldiers 28 printable orcs for your RPGs and tabletop games by Medusa Miniatures of the United Kingdom, their 15th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a command group, slashers and bashers, spears, shields, and a gladiator. 28 orcs in total. You can also pick up set 1 with another 28 orc thugs, as well as a set of 18 fantasy giants, both from previous Kickstarter campaigns. You can get 5 select orcs from either the Soldiers or the Thugs releases, the Full Soldiers, Thugs, or Giants releases, just the orc sets, or all three together. You can also pick up all of their 15 Kickstarter releases, and there are Merchant tiers available as well. This campaign will actually be ending a couple hours after I release this video, which is unfortunately what happens with 7 day campaigns, but you can expect your orcs immediately. Arctic Pirates 3D printable minis for your tabletop there. By Jamie Corte of the UK, their second Kickstarter campaign. Just a pirate penguin and concept art so far for this campaign, Jamie wants the final models to be a collaborative effort with the backers of the project. The more backers, the more models, up to 10. You can also access their previous Penguin Party campaign with adventurers and super adorable spearmen. You can get the whole crew with the penguins for add-ons, and you can also get merchant rights. This campaign goes to March 4th, with rewards expected in April. Fantasy Busts, printable minis for you to paint by 3DIP Studios of Spain, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 8 heroes and 8 villains. As well as several barbarians, there are an elf, dwarf, wizard, and Zeus himself. Anubis opposes him on the evil side with demons, a lizard man, and undead filling out their ranks. You can get either the good or evil as suits your alignment, or pick up both together with a commercial license also available. This campaign ends on February 23rd with rewards expected in March. Strange Foes, a set of homebrew printable monsters with stats and a dungeon map for your tabletop games by August McDaniel of the United States, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. Here is an interesting assortment of enemies you could subject your adventurers to. A Bone Shaker, an Esminog, a Scorpion Satyr, and a Cherpacha, as well as a PNG map of the Cherpacha's lair, and detailed PDF bestiary entries. You can get the monsters, the picture and the PDF, or all three together. You can also access one of their previous campaigns and commercial licenses. 
This campaign ends on March 5th, with rewards expected in May. Goblin Miniatures Unique Printable Goblin Adventurers by Mason's Miniatures of the Netherlands, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes four goblins and one bugbear, as well as a couple of props. Among the goblins are a paladin, barbarian, druid, and bard, and the bugbear is just a bugbear. The set comes with some stretched leathers and its previous owner in a big cauldron. One pledge gets you everything, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign runs through March 5th, with rewards expected by April. Warg Name Printable Nameplates for Warcry Warbands by Warg Name of Taiwan, their second nameplate Kickstarter. This campaign is for nameplates for your model bases. There are 8 warbands in total, with all represented here and sized appropriately. They say there is more on the way for other games, and their first campaign was for fantasy football nameplates, available as an add-on. You can pick up one warband, or all 8, and you can get a commercial license as well. This campaign ends on February 22nd, with rewards expected in March. MB1 Armored Walker and Velocipede Dragoon Diesel Punk Minis from the Codename Colossus Universe by Machination Studio of Singapore, their seventh Kickstarter campaign, all in a similar vein. These two kits are based on concept art for the movie The Fifth Element by famed artist Mobius and come both as printable STL files or as cast resin kits. They are scaled for 28mm wargaming and in the codename Colossus Dieselpunk universe represent French forces. You can pick up either alone or together in both digital and physical formats. This campaign ends on February 24th with rewards expected in May. Immortal King's Fantasy Towers of Light Miniature Knights for the Forces of Night by James Franzen of the United States their seventh Kickstarter campaign. The goal here is to fund the sculpting of three sets of warriors. There are three conscript knights, three veteran knights, and the queen with two royal guardsmen. You can also pick up a few models from previous campaigns. You can get one or all three sets as digital downloads, or one or all three sets as war game scale or painting scale pre-printed minis. This campaign is over on March 6th, with rewards expected between April and June. World War II Soviet Railroad Laser cut, HDF, train cars, and buildings in 28mm scale by Things from the Basement LLC of the United States their fifth HDF Kickstarter campaign. This set includes everything you need to make a World War II era rural Soviet train stop and village. There are five cars with two locomotives, anti-aircraft guns, tracks, a train station, and a good number of little buildings. There are a couple different train packs you can get, both with and without the train station, as well as all the train cars or everything together with all of the parts also available as add-ons. This campaign ends on February 25th, with rewards expected in June. Ponarium Miniatures No. 1 Alternative Pawn Bust Miniatures for your tabletop games by Ponarium of Poland, their first Kickstarter campaign. No more fiddly minis with their weapons out when they should be having a nice drink at the tavern. Neutral poses with more detail than possible with typical minis. These busts have been designed to spark the imagination in any circumstances. There are even mounts for them to ride. There are enough options to run quite a few adventures here. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a merchant's license. This campaign goes until March 7th, with rewards expected the same month.
Hashute Dragons and Scythe Blims, two white metal miniature fantasy football teams by Dan Kai Miniatures of Spain, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is two sets, a team of Chaos Dwarves, the Hashute Dragons, and a team of Goblins, the Scythe Blims. The dragons include a Minotaur and two Centaurs, and the Scythe Blims includes a Hooligan and a Troll. You can pick up either set individually or both together. This campaign runs up to February 21st, with rewards expected in September. Administration District, a complete set of printable gothic sci-fi terrain for your tabletop games by AH Designs of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set of gothic sci-fi terrain includes two buildings in ruins, four buildings as part of their centerpiece collection, and a train set with raised tracking. You can get the ruins, the centerpiece, or train sets all separately, or all together. This campaign ends on March 9th, with rewards expected the same month. The Orcs. 12 retro-inspired 3D printable Orc minis by Capritor Miniatures of Canada, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set of 6 Elite and 6 Foot Soldier Orcs has been designed to print without supports and comes with 3 base options. They've got swords and shields and are ready to crush anything in their way. They also come with an arcade cabinet and a big tree in the stretch goals with more coming. Just one tier to rule them all. This campaign ends on March 9th with rewards expected in April. Alright, that's all for this week. I hope you found something you liked. See you next time.